Health is now reducing your risk of radiation exposure at your dentist's office. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa found out about a new technology created to do just that and how a local dentist is leading the charge. Absolutely. Anna and Darren, over the years we've all had x-rays done on our teeth. The American Dental Association says it's only a small piece of the overall radiation exposure. Also, dentists say the exposure is much lower now with what's in place. Now, Stratford Dentist is taking radiation safety one step further. The latest technology is offered here at the Brush and Floss Dental Center in Stratford, and everything is digital. It's all part of the ALARA principle, embraced by Dr. Jeffrey Hoos. What it stands for is low as reasonably acceptable, and it's related to radiation. What's the minimum amount of radiation that we can use to get a diagnostic film. You know, when we go to the dentist's office and they ask if they can take x-rays every year or two and they, everybody's running away as the x-rays being snapped, you wonder, you know, what you're being left with. Patients like Dr. Jeff Kaplan are not too concerned. Radiation safety is followed closely here. We know that if we go up in an airplane, we receive a tremendous amount of radiation, much more than coming to the dentist. But we want to, again, lower our dosage, lower our exposure. To minimize exposure even more. The thought is that we know that radiation is cumulative, that your radiation exposure builds up over time. Dr. Hoos has helped to further develop a targeted dental x-ray radiation tool. And now we've collimated it down to a rectangular size. Compared to the conventional way illustrated by using a flashlight. Very pinpointed here. Less clear, less clear, and less clear. So this is the overexposure. So this is the noise or the overexposure. Of the old way of doing Of the things. old way. The new way, a more precise radiation, as shown in this animation provided by Health First. It also enables a dentist to get the picture right the first time, meaning there are no do-overs. When we use this technology, so that we absolutely are pinpointing the beam with laser accuracy, we're reducing our radiation by 80%. I actually had it done at my dentist's office recently. Dr. Who says lead aprons, thyroid collars also help to lower overall radiation exposure. For more information, log on to WTNH.com.